Now, now that the milk is mixed in, we add one teaspoon of cinnamon. This is to control mold and the smell because after a few weeks sitting there with flies, you gotta worry about that. And the mold, if it's the wrong type of mold, can kill the flies or it can make your frog sick. So you do have to be careful. I'm starting to feel quite a bit of pain because I was in a car accident recently. And even though the car was fine, I'm not. I uh, have damaged my spine previously, and so this light is jarring, and everybody else is fine. <laughs> I'm on the backboard in an ambulance. Now, Another problem that you have in any insect culture that you're keeping is you will deal with little bugs called mites. Now, you add one tablespoon of either white vinegar or apple cider vinegar, your choice, pretty much the same effect either way. Ah, that was a little bit too much. Get some of that back. Hopefully I didn't get so way too much. Too much vinegar, not enough flies. Now, I'm going to need my husband's help at this point, if I can get him away from the broken blender. Hello? Next up, I'm going to have him give it another stir. Yeah. Okay, now this is a 32 ounce deli cup. The lid has tissue and holes. This means that air gets in, flies don't go out. And we're going to put one quarter of this into the deli cup. Is that about it? Yep. Now, the other three quarters will be portioned out into bags and put in the freezer for later use because where we only have one frog, 
We only need one culture at a time. Now, this is going to have to sit and cool for a little bit before we add the um, yeast, wood wool, and flies, and I'll get back to you when we do that. Okay, here we are. We've got the culture. It's cooled to room temperature. At this point, we need to add an eighth teaspoon of yeast. And if you add less, you'll have problems. If you add a little more, you'll probably be just fine. So we'll just try it and <clears throat> Yeah, I think I got enough. Now the yeast provides protein. I usually will mix this with a bamboo skewer at this point. You kind of want to avoid using soap in your cultures as much as possible because the simple fact is the soap is not good for the frog. So once I have this completely mixed in, I do believe we have a very good consistency for the uh, mixture. Okay. And let's try and tap off the excess back into the culture because all those little mouthfuls of food help. I dispose of the skewer. Then I take this stuff, which is called Excelsior or Wood Wool. You can find this at a typical hobby and craft store, or you can order it online from places like Josh's Frogs. And you got to be careful when you're working with this because it does really like to tangle together and can make a bit of a mess. Now. I have a fairly good size wad of this. I just put that in. And then I have right about a hundred flies from an existing culture. But I'm just going to uh, put these fellas in. Tell them to be fruitful and multiply, and then um, so one right there. Come on. you want to. Whoa, lost one. You want to get your lid firmly on there, and then you put it in a cool, dry place. And two weeks later, you'll have your boom, which you can feed off of at this point. And four weeks along, this is a culture that we've been feeding off of. You can see it's still got lots of flies in there. So if you've got more than one frog, <laughs> nobody's starving. And I'd like to thank you for watching this, and uh, may your cultures always be full of boom. <laughs>